Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here, back with another new player raid guide for some mounts. Today we're going to be doing the Dragon Soul raid from back in Cataclysm, and this one has a chance at three mounts all in one raid, so it's a really good one to do, but it can be a little bit challenging, especially the Deathwing's back encounter towards the end of the raid. If you know about it, you know. If you don't, um, I hope that I can just explain it in a way that you will understand, but this is a super great raid. Let me show you guys everything that we're going to have a chance at today, popping into our adventure guide, Cataclysm, and there's two different bosses that will have a chance at mounts. This first one is this Altraxian boss, and it has a chance for the Experiment 12B Drake Dragon Mount. It's very cool. And then the last boss has a chance at two mounts. We have the Life Binders and maiden as well as the reigns of the blazing drake so how do we get there so we are going to need to go all the way down to tanneris and into the caverns of time there is a portal so heading into the horde portal room and then turning left down these stairs there is a portal directly as you go straight ahead in the middle to the caverns of time so that's where we're going to be going through to and let me also quickly show you on an alliance character as well where you can find the portal so we are currently already inside the mage quarter portal room for the alliance we're just going to run straight ahead here and yet again we will be going to our right and the portal to Caverns of Time is all the way at the very end here, so that is the spot to get to it for the Alliance. So this is where we will be starting from. You can go ahead and mount up, and I am just on my normal flying mount today, but you basically just go forward and follow this really cool spiral tunnel down into the Caverns of Time. The Caverns of Time has a whole bunch of dungeons and raids in it. It's basically... Dungeons and Raids kind of exploring past places in the World of Warcraft lore. So, for example, the Well of Eternity, which happened 10,000 years ago. There is a dungeon for that. So overall, this is a really cool place to come. Let me just show you the map real quick. You can see there's a whole bunch of different kind of event scenario dungeons and raids to check out. But we're going to be going all the way over here to Dragon Soul. You can see this entrance here it is a green portal raid. And we're just going to be heading down this way and make sure you go to the right one. It has this big skull on the entrance. And for this one, we're going to want to make sure that we are set to heroic 25 player for the raid difficulty. Otherwise, you will not have a chance at any of these mounts and it will be a waste of time. So go ahead and pop in. This is Deathwing who we will be fighting on his back towards the end of the raid. Um, but yeah, here we are. And we can just, you may as well get on our mount as well. Go ahead and just make your way down the path. Um, it's actually pretty quick and easy in the start. And all the bosses are really easy to take down. There's no waiting. There's no RP or anything, which is really nice. So this is our first boss here. Go ahead and take him down. He kind of does some stuff. Splits in two. But he's pretty quick to kill. Any second now. There we go. And I guess we can also loot him. Sometimes I'm just going so quick that I don't even worry about looting. You don't really have to because it'll just mail it to you. Got some new shoulders. That's cool. All right, getting back on our mount, we are just heading into this tower, Wormrest Temple. And then on the left and right hand side, there are these two glowing dragon NPCs. You can start on the left or right, it doesn't matter, but you're just going to click on them and they will fly you uh, over to, there's like two side bosses inside of these little worm old god maw things. A little bit freaky, but this is uh, <laughs> what we do. Um, this raid is also really cool. I would have to make a separate guide on it, but there's also a mount that you can get from doing the achievement within this raid, which is called Glory of the Dragon Soul Raider. Um, I do have that mount, so I should eventually do a guide of how to do that, but it's just kind of cool because it's almost like there's more mounts that you could get within here if you went ahead to do the achievement. We're just talking to the other dragon to go down the other side. Let me actually type it in, Glory of the dragon soul raider uh the twilight 
Harbinger. Let me show you guys that mount, which, oops, which I already do have. Twilight Harbinger. So this is another mount that you can get by doing that glory of the, the Dragon Soul Raider, which is pretty cool. If you wanted to research that, you can, but maybe one day in the future I will do a guide on how to do it. I don't remember how to do them all, it's been so long. I'm not even going to worry about looting him. But when you're done killing the bosses down here in the Maw, there's just these portals to go back. I think I quickly did it in the other one because I was just so um, distracted, but I'm sure that you guys saw me just click on the portal to get back here. And now there is a new dragon that we can click on to go where we need to go. They're usually, they're like highlighted and glowing, so you can't really mess it up. Just kind of follow along in that way. Um, also within here, there is even another achievement, which I actually just need the mount from here and I will get it. It's called Awake the Drakes, and it's not just from here, but if you collect all these different drake mounts from multiple of places all around the game, the last one I need is the Blazing Drake, which is one that can drop from the last boss here. And if you get them all, you will get the Emerald Drake. So let me show you that as well. Uh, not necessarily related to what we're doing today, but just kind of cool that this raid involves two other mounts that you could potentially get. So there is a little bit of RP here now. This is where it kind of slows down a bit, but those first three bosses are pretty quick. We have most of our dragon aspects here. Ysira, Alexstrasza, Caligos, Thrall, who's not a dragon aspect, but he's here, and Nazdormu. Wait for this to go by. Actually, look, I have this right here, this Thrall book, which is actually pretty much about the events leading up to this point in the game. I haven't started it yet. I just finished Wolfheart, which was the one just before this one. So I'm really excited to start Thrall. About Thrall right here. All right, so he is gonna open a portal for us to the Eye of Eternity. All right, there we go. We can travel into the Eye of Eternity and then just go ahead and click on this focusing iris and it will start kind of like some waves of guys and then we'll be able to defeat the boss. Just a couple waves, super easy to take them down. And then the boss will move forward on her little cool flying disc thing. Oh, we got another little few guys here. Swagger all you like. I shall do that. All right. My auto loot is like never working recently. I don't know why. What's up with that? Hello? Even when I hold a uh, shift, it didn't work. We're getting some uh, weird issues here. All right. Anyways, once you're done looting the boss or not looting it, if you don't want to, you can travel back to the Wormrest Summit. And then I believe you talk to Caligos. Yep. And you tell him that you were successful with your mission. And then just a little bit more RP. I think that you talk to Thrall next. As soon as he's ready. Coffee break. <laughs> the burden always falls to us. Every time. Every expansion. Okay, let's call my pets out just for fun. Sometimes I, I hate having my bats out. They're really cool, but their wings are always getting in the way. Um, so we're going to talk to Thrall. We're going to tell him that they can begin the ritual. Um, and then it kind of goes to this point where you just have to kill a bunch of these twilight drakes. You'll kind of see when they're coming. Because right now you can't target any, but eventually one or two of them will come down and you'll be able to target them. But Deathwing's going to come here and be dramatic for a little bit first. I think you have to end up killing like almost 15 of them. You can see this one's coming in. You can target him. So they kind of start to actually materialize and aren't all shadowy anymore. So you can kind of get an idea of which ones you'll be able to kill. I guess that this would definitely be easy if you have like a ranged character. If you're like a warrior or something, it might be kind of hard. I'm sure that you have some kind of throw abilities, but you might need to kind of wait for them to come down. Um, you can also just press uh, the tab key and that will target any nearby enemies. So if you're ever having a hard time manually clicking on them with your mouse, sometimes I just run around and just kind of hit the tab button until it selects something for me. All right, so we can see the cli- the, the cli- the sky has cleared up. Aha, there he is <laughs> on his way up. 
the Twilight Realm. Hey, it looks pretty cool. I wouldn't mind our world being like this. All right, so you can't attack him until he gets up here. <laughs> Any second now, there we go. Just one shot him real quick. And then there is a treasure chest to loot. So this is where we will see. You have to wait till you're out of combat to loot it. See what happens here. Oh, there we go. Any luck? Nope, not today. So that was your first chance at getting a mount. And now I think that the ship comes over. It's actually been a little while since I've ran this. It's a couple months. Ah, yes, there it is. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get on to this boat. Then you're going to come over here and speak to Sky Captain Swayze. And then it kind of teleports you here and you actually have to talk to him again. Bring us in closer to start the encounter. All right, so this is the next boss. This one's kind of a little bit of a slow process. Um, he's going to be spawning in dragons trying to come in on the side and dropping like mobs onto the ship. Um, I think also one of the achievements here I just happened to remember this boss will like put these purple swirly things on the ground and I think that if you just stand in them so that you absorb the damage instead of the ship taking the damage um, that's one of the achievements like these things here if you absorb all of those attacks I believe so that that was the achievement or at least the bigger ones I don't fully remember but I just know that there was an achievement something to do with absorbing all of I think just these bigger ones not that I'm specifically teaching that today but I mean hey if you want to try to get that achievement you can see if you get it okay so just kind of waiting for this guy he's gonna drop like a goblin down that's gonna try to run into the deck he kind of despawns a sec but he's trying to go back there so just kill him so he doesn't make his way back there it's not really a big deal to stand in those though it's not like you're gonna do anything wrong if you do or don't I'm actually also gonna dismiss my pets because the spot that's coming up with Deathwing's back I don't really want them to be there would we'll probably just be distracting all right so the dragon's coming down here now you can start to attack it as soon as it's in range. I mean, it's not doing anything, but <laughs> not yet anyways. There we go. So the Torin dropped down. Go ahead and kill him. There we go. And then his dragon flies away. Boom. So that was that boss. And now we're going to be heading on to Deathwing's back, which I do have a separate video guide specifically about that. It was more of like a scripted guide. So I'm going to do my best to kind of just explain it real time. But if you want a more structured guide about how to do this, I do have another video. I guess I'll link it somewhere up here if you want to see it. It's only like two minutes long or something. So you're going to go ahead and start the encounter. And you're going to be put onto Deathwing's back. So basically, you don't want to stop running left and right. Um, also, another thing that you want to make sure is that you're facing his head. You can actually see it on the mini-map where his head is and where his tail is. But you basically have about, I would say, seven seconds to stay on a side. So I could wait here for a bit. But I just find it so much easier to just know that I'm in a constant state of running back and forth. Um, you'll also see these four corruption tendons coming out from his back and what you're going to want to do is kill three of them any three it doesn't really matter but just leave one up and from each of these tendons is going to come these hideous amalgamations but just go ahead and kill them all right now because we don't need it yet but that last tendon that i left up is how we'll spawn another one um, and then now that we've killed three of the four tendons and again i just continue running back and forth it doesn't matter where you go on his back you can go near the bottom anywhere you want but slowly over time from those three tendons that we killed these corrupted bloods are coming out just these little fire ooze things and we're gonna need at least nine of them to come up um, i will show you why in a moment but i basically just keep running uh, back and forth until you feel like you have a ton of them built up um, you could actually count them as they come out so that you know when you have nine of them or you can just go until you feel like, yeah, I definitely have a lot of them. So we'll just kind of zoom through this part until I feel like we're good here. 
I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like that's probably good. Maybe I'll let one more come. Yeah, there we go. That's probably good. So now what you can do is we're going to go ahead and AoE them down. So I'm going to use like a multi-shot. And when you kill them, they leave a whole bunch. Another one spawned in there. That's fine. But go ahead and kill your tendon. I'm just going to kill this other guy that showed up because why not? And then any more that show up, you can kill them. But see how this guy just showed up? See how it shows he has zero right now? Check this out. If I run him through all of those guys that I killed... As long as you get at least nine of them, you have to have it to where it shows that it has nine stacks. And then make sure you're tight up against Deathwing's kind of head armor plate area. And then go ahead and kill him. And he will do a nuclear blast as long as you have the nine stacks. And then it's going to lift up and just use your tab key to target the burning tendon. Um, and then it lifts up that armor plate, and now we have moved up a bit. Um, and as you can see, these guys are still spawning because they're still coming out of where the tendons were. And again, I'm going to go ahead and kill any other tendons that are up, but I'm just going to leave one of them so that I know that I have one that I can kill later. I'm going to go ahead and kill this hideous amalgamation, which spawned from the two tendons that I just killed. Pretty much just, I just like to leave only the oozes up and leave one tendon up so that I can get another hideous amalgamation when I'm ready. And then from here, we're just gonna, we already have a lot of them because there's a lot of open tendons. So a lot of these oozes are coming through right now. Um, you can see there's one here from where I killed an ooze earlier. Um, it will eventually despawn. So... I'm not going to rely on that one as one for me to run the guy through to get a stack. But for the most part, we probably have nine of them here right now. I'm just going to go a little bit more. Something like that is probably good. And then we're going to go ahead and use a AOE to bring them down and then kill the corruption tendon. And then we can kill any extra corrupted blood that come through. But then we have our hideous amalgamation. We're going to make him run through those piles. See how I missed some over here? Just get him to go over. Get him tied up against Deathwing's armor plate, facing his head again, and kill him. Just as long as he's close enough to lift the armor plate. And see how I have more of these oozes following me? I'm going to keep those up. Let's try to get the tendon. There's the tendon right there. Burning tendon. And now we already have a lot of guys already following us, so... I feel like it gets easier as you do this, and this is the last time we have to do it, so you just have to lift his armor plate three times. I feel like we maybe have enough here. Yeah, let's go ahead and multi-shot them down. Oh, a couple of them got missed. And then we're just going to kill one of these corruption tendons again. At this point, we have so many oozes that you didn't really need to get all the tendons down again just as long as you are able to spawn in an amalgamation and run him through ooze piles you're good so yeah we're just gonna go ahead get him up here if you mess up like if you accidentally get rolled off like if you forgot to run left and right you have to start this all over again so try to not let that happen and there's our last burning tendon. As soon as I hit it, you've done it three times, and then you're done the encounter. So that can be kind of hard to do. My hand is going numb. I don't know why this happens, but sometimes, like, the angle at which my arm is on my mouse, my hand goes numb. So if I'm ever doing this, it's because I'm losing blood circulation. Uh, anyways, this is the chest from defeating that boss. There's no mount from this chest, but, you know, just your loot. And then you're going to go ahead and talk to Thrall. And say that you defeated Deathwing. And they're going to be like, mm, he's not dead yet. Um, also, see how there's the dragon aspects here? Basically, there's another achievement. I just figured I'd mention this in case you're going to be coming back here multiple times anyways. There's an achievement where um, you have to start the encounter on each of their platforms. So say if today, um, again, I've already done this before. But say today, if I start on Alex Straza's platform in front of her... And Deathwing's going to spawn here, and if I start attacking him from here, that will count as starting the encounter from Alex Straza's. And then the next time you come, you could start on Nas Dormu's platform, Ysira, and Caligos. So it's kind of like it would take you four times of completely running this raid, but then you would get the achievement for 
uh, starting the encounter on each of these. So if you're here anyways, you may as well just switch up which place you're starting it from. Um, but I actually have to go back and talk to Thrall one more time to actually initiate the fight here. So it would be at this point, once you talk to him again and officially say, inconceivable, he couldn't possibly be alive, and you initiate the encounter, this is where you could pick which platform you want to start on. Just because you may as well work towards that achievement. And then you basically just, you know, kill the different things. He has his arms kind of up on each platform. Just run around to each platform and kill them. Kill this thing too. I don't even know if you have to kill that, but... You basically just run around and kill anything that is in your range. It's pretty fun being able to jump around here. And then head back towards the middle. <laughs> and he's gonna come down here and you just kind of attack his face. And that is it! That is the end of the raid! We did it! And this is now the spot right here. I think it's like a piece of his jaw. And as soon as we're out of combat... They're going to blast him with the dragon soul here. Boom! <laughs> Die, Deathwing! And this is going to be where we loot, and this is where you have a chance at two mounts. So let's see if we get anything. Did we? No, <laughs> we didn't get anything. But that's where you would have a chance at two more mounts. So that is everything. That is the full run. Uh, I hope that I explained the Deathwing's back thing pretty good. Um, again, I have a guide if you need more help. I will put that up somewhere in the corner to check it out, but feel free um, if you have any other questions at all about this raid, let me know. But that's how you do it. I wish you guys luck with getting your mounts and everything, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!